Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Classic fried chicken is as American as baseball, hot dogs, and apple pie. And if it's done right, it's crispy, not greasy, and delicious. But frying chicken takes a while to make, it stinks up your house, and makes a mess with the grease popping all over. So if you don't have the time or you simply don't want to make fried chicken, you have the option of going out to a fast food fried chicken restaurant or picking up a Hungry Man Selects classic fried chicken dinner for $2.74, which contains three pieces of tender white and dark chicken portions with homestyle mashed potatoes, sweet corn, and a chocolate brownie. This is a pretty good sized meal, weighing in at a full pound and packing a whopping 39 grams of protein. Now before I pull it out of the box, let's go over the details, starting with the ingredients. And the amount of ingredients in this meal is absurd. To the point, it pisses me off, they feel the need to add this much crap for such a simple meal. I didn't know where to start without getting a headache. So if you feel the need to read through the list of ingredients, grab a beer, turn on Inagata De Vida, and begin to read and see if you can get through the list of ingredients by the end of the song, starting now. You have 17 minutes. Now let's go over the nutrition facts. For the entire meal, there's 940 calories, 56 grams of total fat, 12 grams of saturated fat, 130 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,370 milligrams of sodium, 58 grams of total carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 14 grams of sugars, and 39 grams of protein. All the sodium and all the added crap give it a pretty long shelf life at just over a year. When I pulled it out of the box, it looked like it fell out of the truck on the way to the grocery store. There's corn all over everything. I know it's all going to be mixed together tomorrow, but until then, I want it separate. I bought two of these Hungry Man meals because you, the people, asked me to do an oven versus microwave comparison with two of the same meals. So that's what I'm going to do. Because remember, I do this for you, the people. So I'm gonna cook this one in the oven. It says to preheat the oven to 350 degrees, remove the plastic from the chicken and brownie, and cut a slit in the film over the corn. The plastic is barely sealed on the edges and not at all in the middle. So there's really no reason to cut a slit in the plastic over the corn because it's not sealed to begin with. This is totally unfucking acceptable. Swanson, the company who makes Hungry Man meals, has been making these shit meals since 1945. That's 72 years and they still can't get it right. With that list of ingredients and the unsealed plastic, the CEOs of Swanson should be force fed three of these meals a day and hung by their feet until they shit themselves. This is a poor excuse for food and food packaging and the CEOs of Swanson, they should be ashamed of themselves. But as long as people continue to buy this garbage and fatten the CEOs bank accounts, they're gonna feed us whatever the hell they want to without a fucking care in the world. So now let me, the consumer, reposition all the corn around because right now it looks like the floor in a feed store. After cleaning up the corn, I'm supposed to put this on a cookie sheet and bake in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. So into the oven it goes. While that's in the oven, let's do the microwave version. When I took it out of the box, the same bullshit. But this time, it was the chicken crust that's all over the place. And again, the plastic is loose. It's stuff like this that makes me drink and stay medicated. I mean, with all the ingredients already in this meal, they might as well super glue the plastic down. A few more heated chemicals isn't really gonna make a difference at this point. So let me get this cleaned up and bang my head into the wall. All this effort, it better be worth it. I'm almost out six bucks. Once everything's in its place, I'm supposed to microwave on high for four and a half minutes. Then after four and a half minutes, remove the brownie. Then, microwave for another two minutes and rest another minute. After microwaving on high for six and a half minutes and then resting for another minute, our classic fried chicken meal is ready. So remove the plastic and replace the brownie first. Let's mix up these homestyle potatoes and give them a try first. Boy, do they look dry. I've had a few comments that say I need to add butter and milk to frozen dinner mashed potatoes. That's a bunch of crap. This is a frozen, ready-to-eat dinner. 
The only thing I need to add before I eat this is a pair of depends on my ass because I know this is going to go through me faster than Conor McGregor went through Jose Aldo. I finally tried the potatoes and they had the texture of instant mashed potatoes with not enough liquid added and they tasted like paste. Then for the corn, which I usually like in frozen dinners, and this corn was no exception. It was pretty good. Before I tried the chicken, I took a bite of the brownie and it was fine. I'm not really a big sweet eater, but it was okay. It looks like I have a thigh, a leg, and a wing. My favorite three pieces of chicken. The thigh and the wing were greasy and soggy on the bottom. But the leg wasn't greasy at all, and it looked somewhat crispy. So I tried the leg first, and to my surprise, it was a white meat leg also known as a big ass wing drumette. It turned out to be the best piece of chicken out of all three. As greasy as the thigh and wing were, you'd maybe think they would be somewhat moist, but they were both dry. All three pieces of chicken were indeed tender as advertised, but they were pretty greasy and pretty salty without a lot of flavor. But hey, this is the microwave version. It's supposed to be bad. Maybe the oven version will give us hope. After 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven, the oven version is ready, and right off the bat, it does indeed look a lot better. The chicken, as expected, was nice and crispy. That brownie looks so much better. The mashed potatoes somehow look moister than they did in the microwave. But the corn, it looks old. But that could be because the plastic wasn't sealed. I mixed the potatoes, and they were indeed much moister and creamier than in the microwave. They also tasted a little bit better, but not great. The corn wasn't as good as it was in the microwave, but it was still good. That brownie though, it was on point. The oven did magic to it. The same kind of magic that a muzzle and a bag would do to Rosie O'Donnell. I was wondering, is that piece of corn in the brownie symbolic of what the aftermath of this meal is going to look like? Again, it looks like I got a thigh, a leg, and a wing. The top of the chicken was nice and crispy, but again, the bottom was greasy, but not as soggy. I tried the wing first, and it was indeed crispy on the outside, tender on the inside, but pretty greasy. Then I tried the leg, and once again, it wasn't a leg. But I bit into it like it was a leg, and bit right down onto a fucking sharp ass piece of bone. They did something that's not really unusual, and they cut the breast into pieces, and I got the corner right by the wishbone, right into the roof of my mouth. I don't have a problem with it being a piece of breast, but damn, make it look like a piece of breast and not a leg. Didn't that look like a leg to y'all? I just can't imagine if a little kid bit into that. That's pretty dangerous. But I carried on and very carefully took a bite out of the thigh. And at this point, it wouldn't have surprised me if it was a chicken head or a chicken foot. But the thigh was a thigh, and even though it was pretty greasy, it was the best piece. I didn't like either one of these, but I do think the oven did make it taste a little bit better. If I had to give them a rating out of 10, I'm gonna rate the oven version a two, and the microwave version a one. And the oven version can thank the brownie for the extra point. I wouldn't buy these again, and I wouldn't recommend you buy them either. If you'd like to show your support to the Wolf Pit, please consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, and every little bit helps provide better content more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you do not give these a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.